CXC has revised the CSEC mathematics syllabus with the changes effective for examination from May June 2018. Specimen questions for the multiple choice examination were provided along with the answers. These videos will show the working. It will get you from the questions to the answers. Please attempt each question without using a calculator before proceeding with the rest of this video. Remember that calculators are not allowed in this exam. Question 15. The arithmetic mean or just mean is equal to the sum of all the values over the number of values. We are given that the mean of 10 numbers is equal to 58. This means that 58 is equal to the sum over 10 and we can solve for sum. To remove the 10 from the right hand side to leave sum alone, we multiply by 10 on both sides. 58 multiplied by 10 is 580 and when we multiply by 10 on the right hand side, the 10s would cancel to leave the sum. So we have the sum of the 10 numbers is equal to 580. What if we remove the number 40 from the set? What is the mean of the other 9 numbers? This is what we are asked to determine. Therefore, the new sum would be the old sum, 580, minus the number we are removing. The number we are removing is 40. 580 minus 40 is equal to 540. And of course, the number of values is 9. We had 10. Remove 1. We now have 9. Thus, the new mean is equal to the sum 540 over the number of values, which is 9. 540 divided by 9. 9 into 5, 0. 9 into 54, 6. 6 nines are 54, so we have 0 remaining. 9 into 0 is 0. 540 divided by 9 is equal to 60. The new mean is equal to 60. The answer is B. Question 16. The probability that a child is at least 13 years old means the probability that the child is 13 years old or older. That is the probability that a child is 13 years old or 14 years old or 15 years old or 16 years old in this question. The addition law of probability says that if E1, E2 up to EN are mutually exclusive events, then the probability of E1 or E2 or up to EN is equal to the probability of E1 added to the probability of E2 added to all up to the probability of EN. Mutually exclusive events are events that cannot happen together. A child cannot be two ages at the same time. Thus, the ages of children are mutually exclusive events. Therefore, the probability that a child is 13 years old or 14 years old or 15 years old or 16 years old is equal to the probability that the child is 13 added to the probability that the child is 14 added to the probability that the child is 15 added to the probability that the child is 16. The probability of an event occurring is equal to the number of favorable outcomes over the total number of possible outcomes. Thus, in the probability that the child is 13, the number of favorable outcomes is 5. If a child is chosen at random, there are 5 different children that can be chosen 
to have a favorable outcome. And the total number of outcomes, we have 25 children, so the total number of outcomes is 25. So it's equal to the probability of a child being 13 is 5 over 25. Similarly, the probability that a child is 14 is 4 over 25. And the probability that a child is 15 is also 4 over 25. The probability that a child is 16 is 3 over 25. Adding, 5 added to 4 is 9. 9 plus 4 is 13. 13 plus 3 is equal to 16. We have 16 over 25. The answer is D. Question 17. The mode is the observation with the highest frequency. The frequency of children age 11 is 6. The frequency of the children age 12 is 3. And so on. The highest frequency is 6. 6 children are 11 years old. The mode is age 11. The answer is C. I am Mr. Dubé. Post a comment. Let me know how you are managing. If you found this video useful, please like this video. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe. Join me in the next video.